it's these guys versus these guys. Old school slides versus the new school slides. Let's check it out. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a review on them, and then give them a rating. I buy all my products with my own money. Although sometimes I am given products for free, and if that's the case, I will always let you know in the beginning of the video. I'm reviewing sandals today, my favorite type of sandals. And no, they're not these, they're actually these. Yes, slides. I am a total convert. I went from the normal sandals to the slides, which I wear pretty much every day now. The first slides I got were these original Adidas Adlet slides, which I liked a lot. I've seen these ever since I was a little kid growing up on the soccer field, all the way up to today, and they haven't changed that much. They're pretty much the same design as they were many, many years ago. Now there's tons of different styles of Adidas slides. These are the most basic and probably the cheapest, but you can find some with Velcro straps, others that are super, super squishy and comfy, and you can find some really expensive versions too. The reason I first got the Adelet slides is because I hated the toe post that normal sandals have. So when you're wearing socks, they kind of split the big toe from the other toes and it's a really weird feeling and I didn't like it. And the problem was I walked on my wood floors and all you out there who have wood floors in your homes know that they may look clean on the surface, but usually they're kind of dirty. So I'd wear my socks, I'd have this kind of weird feeling of this thing between my big toe and my other toes. And then I jump off of them, of course, when I got to my carpet and my bedrooms. So that's when I changed from using the normal sandals into using the slides. And I like them better than slippers around the house because as you know, sometimes slippers can get a little bit hot on your feet and make your feet sweat, which is kind of gross. So I just prefer to wear socks with my slides and I'm totally happy. So basically the reason I started this whole kind of competition between these two different brands was because I wanted to see if Noble was going to be so comfortable I would use those for my inside slides or if my Adidas Adelette slides would win and I would keep those as my indoor slides. Whoever the loser was was going to be my outdoor slides. Now I love the Adelette slides and you're probably asking, well why did you get the No Bull slides if you like the Adelette slides so much? Well part of the reason was I just like No Bull workout shoes. I've got the trainers and the trainer pluses. I've been really happy with them. And I thought, huh, maybe they make some other really nice shoes as well. And I thought, hey, why not try their slides and see if they're any different than the Adidas slides. How long have you had both pair of slides? I've had these for about a year now, and I've had these for just a little over a month. Now, what were my first thoughts when I got the new Noble slides? Right away, I liked the look of them. I was a little bit bummed out that it still had this gigantic logo on the outside, but luckily the logo is embossed into the actual strap and it's hard to see. One day maybe they'll shrink it down. That's my dream. Some of the things I did like about it was this embossed logo in the heel. And I also liked the fact that it was a little bit thicker than the Adidas Adelet slide, which is nice and more cushiony. So when I put my foot in for the first time, it was a totally different feeling than the Adelet slide. The Adelet slide is cushiony too, but as you can see, it is harder on the bottom. Does that make a huge difference? No, not really. In fact, if I had never gotten the Noble slides, I wouldn't have known the difference. The insole is a little bit slicker in the no bowls than it is in the Adidas Adelette slides. So even though my foot was more comfortable, I felt a little bit less stable in this at first. It felt like I was going to kind of just slide out of these really easily. But that was my first time wearing them. So I thought, you know, I got to give them a chance, maybe break them a little bit and maybe they will get better traction as we go. How often did I wear the no bowls? What I decided to do is just go ahead and wear these no bowls. 80% of the time. So I pretty much wore these for every single day, almost all day for over five weeks. Did the comfort change in the Nobles over five weeks? Yes, it did. The Nobles actually got super comfortable the longer I wore them. And I'm not sure if you can tell here, but my toes actually started making indentations into this softer feeling insole and it became grippier. So over time, these just got more and more comfortable. Did you ever wear them without socks on? I wore these a few times without socks on and they were fine. I started doing some funny things though. I got so comfortable in these no bulls that I actually went downtown a few times with my socks on with the sandals. And I thought to myself, is this dorky? I can't tell anymore. I've gotten so comfortable wearing these slides with socks on. I thought maybe I've lost the plot and this is not the cool thing to do, but I was doing it. 
I'm at the point where maybe I just don't care enough anymore about what people are thinking of me wearing my socks on in my slides. Maybe that's a bad thing. How did the sizing work out for you on either slide? Both slides came exactly in the size that I needed them. I'm a size 10. I ordered a size 10. That's what I got. They both fit perfectly. Why do you think the no bulls were more comfortable than the Adelet slides? Well, it might be because of the materials that they're made of. The Adidas Adelet slides have an EVA upper and outsole and what they call a soft cloud foam bed. I don't think this is soft. It's not super hard, but clearly not as soft as the no bulls. Now, what is EVA? EVA stands for ethylene vinyl acetate. It is naturally stretchy and has rubber-like qualities such as softness and flexibility. The No Bull has an upper strap that's made from TPU. What's TPU? TPU is a material made from thermoplastic polyurethane. Now on the website, it says that the rest of the shoe is made from durable materials, but I couldn't find out on the website what durable materials were. I'm assuming it's probably made from something very similar to the TPU strap. How much are they? The Adidas Adlet slides are 40 bucks and the Noble slides are $59. Now these are the basic Noble slides and these are the basic Adelette slides. They do have more expensive versions of each on their websites. Quick side note, I actually got these Adelette slides for $23. They seem to have a sale at least once a year on the Adidas website. So if you're getting these for 23 bucks, that's, that's a really good deal. It's usually at the end of summer or somewhere around Thanksgiving time when people probably aren't buying these kinds of shoes. Now, what details do you like about each shoe? With the Adidas Adelet slides, here's what I like. I like the fact that they're iconic and they have this iconic design that's been around forever. I also like their cool strap with the three Adidas stripes on it. There's also a neat little bump here on the shoe, which helps separate the metatarsals from the phalanges. In other words, it just separates this part of your foot from this part of your foot. But it's a nice little built-in amenity that does make them comfortable right off the bat. And it also helps you feel more stable in the shoe. The No Bull does not have this. When I first wore them, they felt a little unstable and took a little while to kind of mold into. How about the No Bulls? I really dig this little logo on the insole. I also like, if you look closely, they've got tiny, tiny little rubber beads that help keep your foot in place in the slide. I like the spongy insole and the fact that they start molding to your feet after a little while and get more and more comfortable. They've also got this thicker outsole and they're very, very flexible. Look at the difference. Here's the No Bull. Here's the Adlet slide, slightly stiffer. What details did you not like? Like I said before, it took me longer to work in the No Bulls than the Adelet slides. So I didn't like that about the No Bulls. Were there any weird things about the No Bull? One kind of weird thing with the No Bull slides is after wearing them for a little while, the strap that goes across get these kind of stretch marks on them. I think just after a while, you just your foot just kind of stretches the strap and that's why it gets those stretch marks. The Adelet slides are obviously built differently so you don't get stretch marks like that. Because there is an Emboss logo on the strap here, you do get dust that collects inside the logo and you do need to take some water and a rag and wipe it off from time to time. And since these are black also, you can see the dust a lot easier than my Adidas. So it's a slight hassle keeping them clean, but not really that big of a deal. And do I clean these guys? Yes, I do. I just don't have to clean them as often for some reason. After all this, which one would you prefer? This is really hard because they're both really good slides. Like I said before, if I had the Adlet slides and I knew nothing about the Noble slides, I'd been perfectly fine. But since I'm doing these comparison videos, I have kind of sauntered over to the noble side. They're both fantastic though, and I wouldn't complain about either of them, and you can wear them both for a long time. However, now that I've been a bit spoiled, I would probably go with the $59 no bulls over the $40 Adlet slides. So that brings me to what is my final rating on them. I'm gonna give the no bulls a nine out of 10, and I'm also gonna get the Adlet slides a nine out of 10. Maybe that doesn't seem fair, but they're both great, great slides. And either one you decide to purchase, you'll be happy with. Hey, maybe get the Adlet slides, take that $19 in savings, put it in S&P 500 index fund, and who knows, in 30 years, you'll have $500,000. So which slides are you gonna use inside and which slides are you gonna use outside? Even though they both got nines out of tens, I have decided the No Bulls are my inside shoes. These guys are relegated to my outside shoes. 
Still love you, buddy, but you're gonna have to go outside. Anyways, these are great for walking out to the mailbox or you gotta do some gardening at home or you gotta take the trash out, that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like you learned something from this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. If you have any specific questions about the Noble slides or the Adidas Adelette slides, do me a favor, put your questions in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions as best as I can. You can always hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi where I post almost every day about other things fitness and sometimes just some photos that I think are pretty interesting. I actually started posting on Twitter as well. I think I have one follower. Woohoo! So if you guys want to be follower number two and you want to jump on that bandwagon before it gets hot, come on aboard. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.